Sisters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. I'm looking at the Dow uh, in this on this Friday, the very first day of March. What I had said to subscribers is, if the Dow went above thirty nine thousand two hundred eighty two point, I think that was eighty three, uh, twenty eight. If it went to twenty nine point twenty nine today, that would extend leg B. The S and P and the QQQ are very close to doing that. They've actually done that now. So the Dow is uh, down one hundred nineteen to thirty eight thousand uh, eight seventy six. We still have a, a trading short on the Dow. Uh, we're looking at the S and P at this particular very long term. We were still long our positions, just on a very short term basis. We're thinking that uh, there's some kind of Especially in the Dow, because you, yesterday, yeah, it was a UNH, uh, UNH, and um, what did I say to subscribers? We were looking at this. That's right. We had UNH very weak. We had Boeing very weak, but yet you had JP Morgan pushing towards all time highs and Caterpillar. And that's the kind of mix that we're looking at. So that's a little different uh, to the others. Most importantly, what we are looking at here. <clears throat> Is that the S and P has gone to 5108.60? What it has to do is go to 5111.07 today, and it extends that leg B. If it doesn't do that today, that'll become a peak B, but just a fractional peak B. It means that all you need in the following week is just like a little hiccup to go to a leg C. That means you're moving along very quickly towards the peak D. But at this high, it's a technical Friday, so I'm getting to the technicals. And the other thing is, I just as I'm talking, uh, I had an email mentioning that um, leap year was Dave White, the late Dave White's uh, birthday. I didn't remember that. I do remember him talking about leap years, but I didn't remember that that was his birthday. And all I can say is that, yes, uh, I, I, we all miss him dearly. He was an out-of-the-box thinker. Uh, he created, um, he only believed in, the patterns and the software that can produce results that could be repetitive over and over. Fabulous work he did. And he did great work when it came to options expiration. Um, we miss him dearly. We miss his, his, not just his thinking, but his wry sense of humor and um, what he added to TFNN. So uh, here's to you, Dave. We're looking at the uh, S&P. Nine period moving average still very strong. I, I, yesterday, because there was a chance that you could start to uh, plunge a little plunge, you could drop a little bit under the nine period moving average, could, which could start because the MACD is kind of weak. It's positive, but just barely positive. And the stochastic is at 89%. Uh, that's very good. So it has to be price that does it, and the price refused to pull back. In fact, it ran up. And even today is up $8. But this, I'm going to extend this technical Friday. I'm going to extend this line. But it's such a strong line. I, what would I, oh, where's my protractor? I can't see it. It's on my desk somewhere. Oh, I thought I had it all ready for the next time I needed it. I wish that, I, I should really speak to them someday. Uh, I wish that uh, TradeStation had a, a little a line that you could, put it in like this, like this, and you could choose to have it give you a percentage of the move. Well, this move right now, if I'm doing it by eye, I would say is close to 42%. I'm just guessing. All right, if I can find my protractor during the break, I'll see if I, I'm correct. Um, so within that context, it's now much, much higher. It means that to get even to the pink line, this is a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, to get to that line, this is, let's just say Monday, you'd have to go to 51.33. To break the green line, which is the breakout line, you'd have to get to 51.67. So at this point, let's just see if we get to the 51.12 area to say, hey, we've started a new leg uh, up in the, in the daily chart. But in fact, <clears throat> 
The weekly chart has extended its leg B. Monthly chart is at a D, uh, in a leg D. And D is what we look for in a buy mode because that's where other things can happen. All right. Um, let's do this. I want to go to the QQQ because it did break to a new recovery high, all-time high, I'm sorry. Remember, I always say G slash C can always go to a D, and now we've got this new leg D in the uh, daily chart, D for daily, right there. C for weekly. No, C is extending higher. Uh, it was almost a peak right there, but it wasn't by a fraction of a couple of, a fraction of a point. So this is still leg, Q, leg C. That means if all of next week there's no new high above today's high, then will come a peak C. If the following week we go to a leg D, and then the following week after that we make a peak D, that's where you've got to be careful. So intermediate term, still very bullish. This could, in leg C, doesn't matter what leg it is, this could pull back very sharply. We could even pull back to 400 and still be in a leg C in a bullish mode. So this is a, a really good sign looking at. That's the reason why our longer-term positions don't want to touch that, um, even though we might just take a, a very short-term trade on the downside to see if it's going to extend. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, let's go to IWM. So this is going to be the clue. IWM, not a very good move. It's up 90 cents today, 204.61. But look at this. Um, I did that. I It missed getting to the Chapman Wave cup formation that says the left side plumb line should have the same number of bars to the downside as it does to the upside. So this is now done. Let's see if we've got a new one. It just missed it in time and price. So let's go to this peak right here. This is leg B, and then went to a peak B. And I'm going to go left side, right side. Here we go. Click. Make it green. Make it green. Put it over there. And it says the IWM has until yesterday to get to 205.49. The high yesterday was 206.44. Huh. So it did it. Uh, we're using that. So then this trend line just missed. This trend line came in. Well, what happens is right there. You still have to look at the nine period moving average. Still very strong. Cannot fight that. This is still very good. Stochastics at 82 percent. MACD is good. On balance volume is kind of uh, is rallying. It's still got a long way to get to go to get overbought. So this is the this is the instrument that I'm looking at that says in this time frame, and that'll go into this first full week of, of March. That means next week. If there's a pullback and the 200 level holds the support and the following week it moves higher, even 50 percent higher than the pullback that we, we, we would see if that happened, that would be very good action. But if next week it actually starts to trade in the 207 to 208 area, that is a breakout that I don't think fund managers are going to ignore. I think on the pattern that we're looking at, they will start to go heavily into this instrument because 244.46 was a high in November of 2021. That's a long way off. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dallas Down, 57. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, so I had a question about, I'm going to go come back to some of this in a moment, but I had a question right now from one of our dentists. Look at AQST. Um, what are my thoughts? So AQST is a, a quest of Therapeutics Inc. in the biotech area leg C in the uh, monthly chart just broke the trend line resistance that it touched last month. That was that month that closed yesterday. Now we've got a new month and it's already up sharply. The weekly chart went right through the 200 period exponential moving average of 339. It's trading right now AQST. It's only up 14% at up 53 cents at $4.20, except yesterday it was tootling around in the 260s. So this is, for, uh, not yesterday, um, the beginning of the week. So you're looking at leg D. Now, I, I, the way it's counted, I've got an overlapping wave, uh, technical Friday, I can go into that. But basically what we're looking at is did this, this is the plumb line I was talking about just a moment ago. Was that on the QQQ? So what we're looking at is there's your plumb line. It got to that level within a day. Um, that was the high it was made on the daily chart on the 4th of December at 267. Comes down to the 180s and 186, 184. And then it goes and it goes right through that level. It gets through it the day before and then power gets through it. Then it goes even higher and it gets to the 280 level. And then plunges down to two thirty. I mean, biotechs. You've got to have, uh, yeah, got to have the wherewithal to be able to to believe in what you believe. Probably you need it fundamentally as well as technically, and then you can hold it. So back in the uh, back, back it goes, makes another cup formation, and screams to the two eighty seven, no, two ninety five level on the sixth of February. Pulls back, makes a little double top, pulls back. So this is a pattern that I call, I didn't type it in here because it just sounded like this is really weird. But it's a, it's a cup formation, and it is 
the potential for the Chapman wave cup and ladle. But it didn't really do that. It popped above that. The cup and ladle just goes right through in leg B or C. Doesn't come back. It uses the left side lip as a support level. Doesn't take it out. Doesn't make a cup and handle. The whole beauty of this is that it just powers through. So then it did the same cup formation right here. Went to a C, pulls back, and then over the last five sessions, it screamed out. This is doing really well. And now you can just say this 200 period moving average in the weekly chart of 339 is called a 345 to 337. That's going to be major support. It is a biotech. And look at the rhythm of the biotech. Look at that monthly chart. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. About 11 months. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10 months. It has this multi month consolidation and then it makes higher highs and higher lows. I like it. Very good. I, mean, I shouldn't say I like it, I don't have it. But uh, I'm going to just tell you, congratulations. Uh, fundamentals for sure, AQS team. I was a buyer on that uh, 0.60s level and 0.70s despite what the chart was telling me. Great. I mean, you just held in. I know that. That's great. And you tend to do that with the biotechs, Dan. Congratulations. A question came in, the question of therapeutics. Uh, Pat says, engages in the identifying developing and commercialization differential. Yeah, I've, I've looked at this in so many, both in the, in the data area, and sometimes it's really hard to decipher exactly what they're saying because all businesses are in the way of marketing what they've got, but it's what they do particularly that's really important. Obviously, this is, this is what the market says is in demand, and that's the most important thing. Okay, now uh, we want to do a couple of other, oh, they're introducing a sublingual, version of EpiPen. Oh, 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 that's definitely going to be in demand. FDA decision to come this year. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, okay, I want you to do a couple of things. I'm not doing any round numbers today. I just can tell you yesterday there were a ton of them. Um, I, I said that I will not know what they mean until we get into kind of mid-March, and we do have a pullback in mid-March. And if that's the case, I'll be able to look back and say, that's what happened. Those stocks went to um, around numbers at their highs, and now they are way lower. Or maybe this is something different. Maybe it's something because I've never seen it quite in this number before. <clears throat> maybe we're looking at uh, people are so determined to buy and believe so strongly that they are correct. I don't know yet. All right. Another question came in about AI. So um, Microsoft is a stock on the 31st of October, we went long. And I, at the time I said, I'm using this as kind of a benchmark for the Dow, as a proxy for the Dow instead of the diamonds, or we already were long the diamonds, but once I, I treated that, I should actually have bought the diamonds at the same time, never to add to the diamonds. That's the Dow diamonds one to one long. But instead, um, I used Microsoft. Why? Because Microsoft, I believe, had the Dow, it had the S&P, it had the QQQ, it had the XLK, and it had the AI and cloud, like uh, Salesforce.com. Uh, it just had everything, and I used it as a benchmark. So um, look what it's done. So we, we're in way down to 338 level. Um, that was, um, you know, as I say, October of last year. We In that little midsection there, we, right in the weekly chart, we had some real nice trades that, that were just trades. And we just kept the long position. And fortunately, one, one position that we had most recently, we took off about 60 cents off the all-time high. And now we're just watching it. Why? Because I think in a sense, Microsoft is giving me a lot of information. It's not screaming like the semiconductors, like SMH, up at all-time highs. Actually, SMH now is up five at 217.10, hitting the outer limit of this uh, trend line. This is incredible action. And what it's, what it's saying to me is, yep, you could have just been along and just gone to sleep, gone Rip Van Winkle, just buy it and hold it and forget about it. Uh, nope, I tried to get all those little short positions, those little down moves, we got some of them, but it was the wrong thing to do. The wrong, right thing to do was to say, the nine period moving average is fantastic. It's over the 14, just, Stay long if you're long. And if you're not long, any time it hits the black line, buy it because there could be a bounce. Right. Okay. So with that said, 
Microsoft, this is going to the, because I was asked about, could, could you, you, you hardly have discussed Microsoft in terms of the longer term position lately. So the daily chart is stalling. In fact, this, doesn't this look like a mid island reversal? It isn't because the low that was made on that two bar Chapman wave reversal at the all time high went down to 41475 and the big spike up on the 23rd went to 41546. So it actually it filled the gap. And even now it tested the gap today for 14497. But it kind of looked like it, right? But it's at the outer end of the of the rectangle range. If this suddenly turns, if Microsoft next week suddenly, and I'm I'm going to do some work over the weekend, there's a time to have another trade on, on any minor pullback because Microsoft is looking like it really wants to breach the uh, four four nineteens and get into the four twenty decisively to fulfill that cup formation even with a gap. And the weekly chart is still looking fabulous. So just to sum it up very briefly, this and it's in a leg D, just like the S and P in the uh, uh, in the monthly chart. That's one of the reasons why I like it. It's giving me a lot of information. As long as the 410, the 380 area holds for the first two weeks of March, this is still looking very good. I'll be back. Dow's down only four. It's a tight Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, just to get back to this Microsoft, you see this cup formation forming here, but it also has Remember the technique that I used is the Chapman wave falling axe formation. 
where you draw the line in like that, and you make a lower line like that, it looks like an axe, uh, the blade of an axe expanding. Um, and if it goes nicely over the uh, downtrend line, then you look for the next peak on the left side, which will be your target, and that's the high of uh, 415.86. And once you clear that, then you look for the ones on the left, takes you to 420. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Now, the only thing is this, that, um, as I say, this gap at the bottom, if it gets filled over the next week, uh, you've got to be a little bit careful. That just says we've already spent one, two, three, three months uh, going sideways in Microsoft with a high-level consolidation. Could become a little circle here, so we start another move up, just like this became a fulcrum, this rectangle. And that would be very positive. So I've been watching this very closely. On a very short term basis, I was going to do this. I forgot to do it. Let me go to the, uh, so here's the 120 minute chart. It went to a peak D. And remember, Chapman Wave methodology, always looking for that fourth highest peak to see if it's going to uh, activate a, an, an instant restart or pull back. This one pulled back sharply to the base that was forming uh, right there in the, <clears throat> in the 397 area, and now it's gone peak A, peak B, and then a mini A, B, C, still within this range. So this is the cup formation that I drew in before. I'm going to just extend it out a little, a little lopsided. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, the stochastic is at 80%, so I can actually put that in as an up arrow. It could fail, but right now everything looks like it has enough strength. Gaps up, peak A, peak B. Pulls back and under. Remember, this is your starting point, so this becomes an A as well. That becomes a B, and now we're already at C before we've even gone to the peak that was made that peak B. This gets preference right now, and we'll see what happens. But it looks to me more like a sideways consolidation. Short term, I'd say 409. Yeah, 409.20 is probably the support level, and if it pushes above 415.27, that's going to be a very that, that'll be a good positive. So um, now, uh, let's see, what have we got? <laughs> yes, so that is the one. Let's go to Netflix. Netflix, I'm going to get to uh, uh, gold and copper in a moment. So this is A, and that's G slash B, so that becomes a C. Yeah, so Netflix is in leg C to the upside. Mm. So far, it's had, dare I mention it, a round number 609.00 high. Uh, it's trading right now 604.36, and it's got already got a leg F in the weekly charts. It's a little bit extended. This could become an instant restart. What I'll do this now, because what is the instant restart? In the Chapman Way methodology, you start with a, a buy signal. If it gets upgraded to a, to a buy mode, it means it should get to at least at peak D. Um, at that peak D, if within three bars, there's a new high, it becomes E. But you've got to think. You've got to always put in a little circle right there or an oval to say, hey, that become, could become an instant restart. Think alternate count. So that becomes E slash A, F slash B, calling it F for now, leg D in the, in the monthly chart, the 700.99 November 2021 high should be hit in 2024. We're at 604, uh, yep, 604 right now. So that's uh, yeah, about 100 points to go. So what we are looking at is within the context of the technicals, the nine is over the 14. You're getting closer and closer and says it's getting closer to having a little dip. But look, the stochastic's at 90%. That's fabulous. On balance of volume is good. Uh, MACD is still just barely pi, say zero. It's actually on the zero zero percent line. And the relative strength is kind of weakening a little bit. So I'm watching this one closely because it's at a spectacular move. You can expect that it should have some kind of a pullback. Where would it say that it's starting to have a pullback if it closes any day in the next two weeks under 975? 975 says, whoops. And on the upside, well, there has no upside because it's all open to 700. There are little moments that you can look at. 618 to 622 is probably the resistance. Okay, now let's go to gold. Uh, GC. So I, um, 
what we've got now in, a, in, in terms of the market is that you can see the Dow is struggling. It's kind of stalling. It's doing its best. The S&P is moving much nicely higher uh, since the Dow stalled. The SMH is that's the lead, um, the lead runner, and the lead runner is moving very sharply to the upside. Um, within that context, you've got gold up now eighteen dollars. So that was important to me, because within the context of gold, the GDX having a very nice move up 59 cents today, 26.95. But if you look at the chart, it's just done this so many times and then it fails. So let me let me go through a couple of things. One of the reasons why for subscribers, I said, we're looking at gold, but I think that the lithium area has a little bit more to it that I can grab right now. Um, I'm looking at it a lot more... I can't even say bullish because it's only just started to move to the upside. But I'm looking at it more positively in the sense that it has, I can feel what it has, and that is lithium for the batteries. It's really important. I mean, there are a lot of aspects to the battery area, and I suspect that within another two years, we're going to be looking back and saying, wow, um, they've come up, with, you know, as long as you've got innovation, you're going to find that something comes along that leapfrogs. Can you imagine the expense of putting everything together, building all, you know, a factory, you got to get the fabs, you got to get everything, you got to, whatever it is you got to get. It's all very expensive. You got to get these rare minerals, et cetera. And let me just mention lithium is a mineral. It's not, it's not like a, a gold, which can be a solid. Um, anyway, what I wanted to say is that the battery um, for the technology, you can suddenly come, uh, some brilliant innovators can come along and leapfrog so that here you are, you know, it's like uh, uh, Comcast is cable, it's, it's underground. And Verizon comes out with, uh, what I call it, Vios. So, Fios. Uh, you know, when you leapfrog a particular, can you imagine if you're driving in the street and there are charges that charge your car without any wires and it doesn't give you cancer and it doesn't do all that stuff. That'll happen one day maybe. But at this particular point, I think that the idea that using the products that are being, the resources that are needed for the battery, there's a lot of competition. But I think that it's going to lead to a little bit more if Lithium is able to sustain itself all the way through the month of March. Now, let me just go to that. That's LIT. LIT. Um, look at that big move up. It's up 94 cents today at 47, up 94 cents. Um, and yet, when you look at the weekly chart or the monthly chart, there's nothing. There's nothing there. That's why I'm saying it needs a whole month. And at some point, it's got to close above the candle of the 29th of December of 52.23. That's six points above where we are. That's a lot for this. So I'm just saying that that to me, I see this as a little bit more longer term than gold at this particular point. But gold's acting pretty nicely, yes, yeah, for sure. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, so RCN has five options. Yeah, well, what I mean is that someone's going to come along and do something that leapfrogs what's going on. But in the meantime, as we see it, uh, I think that, uh, yeah, it seems like lithium's getting a play. So, okay, we were looking. I just want to show you this because I was asked about, look, here's the E-mini. Now, this is so fascinating. You know, you know for, for a year and a half now, I've been talking about trying to develop some kind of a format that can give you the assurance that you could have a two-click session. And a two-click session says that at any point, if the, um, I, I'm using it, the e-mini, which is what I use all the time, the e-mini, um, if you can get early in the morning, sometimes it's 6.30 in the morning, sometimes it's 8.30 when the, uh, when the economic news or whatever it is that comes out at 8.30 uh, activates the market, if you can use, and sometimes it's straight after my show, I can't tell you how many times at 11 o'clock um, in the last three, four weeks, you've had the 10-minute chart turn positive, turn green, and stay green, in fact, almost all the way through to just about the close and sometimes after the close. And look at this five-minute chart turn green, regardless of what the letters are. But the letters are, are, are a big help. But isn't that interesting? two-click session, so at uh, 9, just after 9.30, the five-minute chart went, uh, what is this? Yeah, it went green at uh, 9.20, and let's go to the high of the day, and that's 51.04, and here you are at 51.17, and it's still green. Lovely technique. Yeah, it just it takes so much discipline. I'm finding that even at my age, when I've done this so many hundreds and hundreds of times, I still force myself to try to have the discipline and not get those itchy fingers. Itchy fingers is just a, it's a curse, <laughs> itchy fingers, up 19 in gold. So this is really nice action, but it's actually only back. Look, yeah, let me show you. This is the Chapman Wave plumb line, left side, right side, time, price match. Let's see if we can do that. Grab the rectangle. Doesn't have to be a rectangle. We just use a straight line. Go to the base right here. That's the bottom. Right there. There's the bottom. And sometimes it just misses it. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Yep. So this misses it. And therefore, I couldn't give you, if I did this and said, okay, the same number of bars on the left side to the right side, it would have missed it. Uh, look, let me show you this right here. Oh, and um, I, so Steve Rhodes is out today, 
And I'd mentioned to the den if people had requests, I, I've just organized it so that I could have the hour free, next hour free. I could do. So this is the plumb line. So it's a little bit later than the plumb line. You would have to find another one. Uh, I would probably go to that one, but that's already too long. But it shows you that this cup formation is a viable instrument or V-shaped pattern is a viable instrument to use because look at this. We're almost there. We're almost at the high that was made on the first of no, a month ago, first of February at 2083. So and now look at this for the three last three days. And I mentioned this yesterday. The nine period moving average had turned green. But what's fascinating to me is that in the weekly chart, it never went pink. It's been green all the way through, even from uh, the big slide to the low that was made at just under 2000. It remained green. That is a positive. So I like it. As I say, we didn't we didn't go into the gold today. We went to something else, which I, I, I thought was and I just saw it differently. But that, I mean, when you're looking at the G, when you look, let's go to ASA. This is the stock I always look at because I'm originally from South Africa. ASA is a five, I think it's five gold and precious, it's called ASA Gold and Precious Metals. It has gold stocks from South Africa. It's, it's like a little fund. I believe it's in Bermuda. They have registered in Bermuda. Look at this. It hasn't even broken the 14 period moving average. The last time it did that was back on the first of, oh, a month ago, exactly, first of February. Up in the 15 area, and so far it's already dropped to uh, 13, 30, uh, 13, 18. All right, so this is nothing. If you're getting into the gold stocks, and you know that gold stocks tend to move, once you get, I like to say, I, I prefer to see the gold miners, the GDX, lead rather than gold. But in this case, gold is leading. Um, and silver, look at this, now gold is up 21. I wonder what's going on there. Uh, because I always think that it has to do partly with um, partly with the uh, Middle East. Usually, the gold has a big flare up, but it, it 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 didn't. It came down, 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 down. Maybe now there's a new spectrum to it. Silver finally is moving. It's up 23.15. It's up 26 cents, but it doesn't look great at all. So gold is leading. Then what happens if it has a good move? Silver plays catch up. Then gold is kind of resting and looks around and says, "Hey." Hey, what's this? I'm supposed to leave. Gold then goes up, and then they both come down together. That's kind of the the, the, rule, the, the, the norm, I think. All right. So within that context, gold is moving. Now look at crude oil. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that E-mini is still moving up 18. Very nice. Yes, the green line is still ah. And now the one-minute chart has gone green. All right, and I'm doing the show, so I'm not doing, doing anything. Um so what I want to look at is I said I look at high grade copper. Look, high grade copper is just stuck at the 200 period moving. How important is the 200 period moving average? Look at it in the weekly chart. For a year, it's been stuck up and down and up like a sine wave, up and then down and then up and then down. Now it's narrowing, so it's probably getting to a point where it's going to have to make some either a breakout into 3.80s. Is it uh, sorry 3. No, I should say four dollars to the four dollar level, or it's going to come down to the three sixties. I think it's just stuck in the range. That's what the monthly chart says. Okay, next question came in. Oh, so Steve's not here. Um, I'm going to be able to do the next hour, and I asked for requests, and some people have already given me requests uh, in the. Uh, I'll try to do it. Well, you can't do a Steve Rose. Only Steve can do a Steve Rose. But I'll try to get as many requests as possible. Um, and within that context, I just want to, yeah, GE is parabolic. So um, I was going to get to GE. I wanted to show a couple of stocks like that. Look, GE, I don't know if you can call that parabolic. It is vertical, but it's not, it's another another week like this, and I'd have to say parabolic. Yeah, it's vertical. It's about 93%. No, I'd say about 90, 90%, 91 degree angle. The monthly chart definitely has gone vertical. Um, and I've got a G slash, just a G for the moment um, in the, and, and there was only, there only been two or three round numbers on the way up. It's like people already wanting to, to build a position in G and it's at 158.42. It's up $1.53 right now. And um, Syntas was the other one. You remember, we always look at this. Syntas, overalls, uh, uniforms. It's done very, very well. It's up today. No, it's down today, 23 cents at, 520, at 628. 
We made an all-time high just the other day. Um, and these are very important. These are my core, the GE, uh, Syntas, and I see no round numbers. And that's going to be important to me. I'm monitoring a leg E in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly. That is a spectacular move. That was telling us about the economy. Remember, Syntas overalls, uniforms, rentals, uh, GE, Syntas, WM, waste management, uh, made an all-time high the other day, 209.78. And today's trading down 92 cents at 204.72. It has had a couple of round numbers, but not many. And it's only a leg B in the weekly chart, a leg C in the monthly. All of this is really very positive. Um, I think I lost my train of thought. Wasn't I doing something and then I moved along? Uh, yes, I did. So, oh, there, there was a question, Microsoft. Um, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be back for the last segment. Then I'm doing Steve's show. Um, Steve's hour, I should say, not his show. Just... Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN. 
educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Now, the question about what's a two-click session. Two-click session says that whatever indicator you're using, you're able to click when it crosses positive and not click to get out until it turns negative. And that uh, sometimes if you're using this one particular indicator that I use, that can keep you in the trade without you doing anything all day. Uh, you, you, you can put parameters in and all that. That's fine. But um, but most importantly, look at this. Yes. So yes, Microsoft, 10 minute chart had a beautiful. Oh, I should have put it from there. So it had a beautiful from the low this small uh, yesterday at 12 o'clock on the 29th. It went. Peak A pulls back, green, green, green all the way from uh, from 12.50 yesterday. That's Eastern time, 10 to 1. Uh, just before Larry's show, it was at 408.61. And it went all the way to peak D, right there. Chapman, wait, remember peak D? Goes to 414.97. It's pulled back, and now it's walking the 940, which is still positive. So I'll do a little bit more when we get back. I want to see the boat show. He's out today. And uh, it's a pleasure. We've got a bunch of uh, questions already. I'll be back in a moment. And check out my, my daily newsletter.